may be seated. John 6, verse 5. Remember that even in that place where you are, Jesus is there. This is why we are saying, give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. As long as you can hear me clearly, remember that you are here. We are there where you are. John 6, verse 5. Do you know that most of us Christians, we don't know the value of the name Jesus. When you see Jesus, you see solution. When you hear the name Jesus, know for sure that solution has come. And I'll prove you wrong to this scripture. You know, I read the Bible, even this same scripture. But you can agree with me that sometimes when you are reading the Bible, you just read it like a story. And then there are times where the Holy Spirit will just t tell you to say, go to the book of and so, and so, and so and open it. The same scripture that you have been reading, the same scripture that you see that, ah, not this one. When the message is given to you, the way you understand that scripture before, and the way you are going to understand it is not the same. That is the difference. If the Spirit of God leads you to any scripture, that scripture will bring solution to your problem. That scripture will introduce the presence of God to your problem. Are you there, people of God? Do you know the mind of Jesus about your life? If you know the mind of Jesus about your life, even if you know you are in problem, you are sick, things are not moving according to the way you planned. As long as you knew the mind of Jesus about your life, you become. Others will be panicking, learning up and down. You, because you know the mind of Jesus about your life, you become. You take your time. I don't know how to name this, you know, message. But I want to connect this message to the one I shared on Wednesday. Remaining in the presence of God. Or remaining in the presence of Jesus. Whichever way. The meaning is the same. I even give that example where I brought four people. Two sisters. I mean five. Two sisters and five brothers. Then I said, if this one is your son, and these two sisters were standing here, then you tell your son to say, my son, never you touch any lady in your life. Not until when it is time for you to get what? Married. And you leave the son. You leave him just like that. You just give him a way to say, my son, please, don't touch any woman in your life. Not until when it is time for you to get what? Married. And then another man stand there with the son again. He said, my son, have you seen these two ladies? The son said, yes. Don't touch any of these two until when it is time for you to marry. And the father remained with the son. The son is always in the presence of the father. And his father is there to make sure that the way that he gives to the son must remain in him and active over his life. Each and every time the son is trying to misbehave, the father says, remember what I said about this. Oh, sorry, dad. But the other one, 
He left the son alone. Are you telling me that that son will remain faithful to the father's word? No. He will touch any of those two ladies there because the father is not there. But the other one who is the father is there 24-7. He cannot misbehave in the presence of the father. The father will make sure that his son is living the life according to what the father wants the son to live. In the presence of his father, he cannot commit anything, you know, which is not according to the father's principle. I hope you are getting this example. If you remain in the presence of God, remember that Jesus knows you better than you, you know yourself. He knows you inside and outside. He knows where you are coming from and where you are coming from. You don't know what is coming next year, 2024. You don't know. No one knows what is next year. But his father, I mean your creator, knows that, oh, Mulenga next year will be this. Mulenga next year will be that. And Mulenga doesn't know anything. It is the father to tell him because Mulenga is always with the father. People of God, are you getting this picture? If you remain in the presence of God Almighty, you are guided by him. You are not a ferrier. You know your father. You know your what? I'm talking to you, church. You know your father. Your father is not a ferrier. And you are with your father 24-7. Your father is a creator. He created everything. Even the people that you fear, God created them. The animal that you fear, God created them. And you are with him. The owner of copper. Emerald, diamond, sugilite, all these precious stones is the one who made them to be what you know about this. And you are with him. Even where it seems to be nowhere, because he is the way maker, he will make a way for you. For your sake, he will make a way for you. So remain in the presence of God. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. Remain in the presence of God. Yes. Because if you remain in the presence of God Almighty, He will lead your life, He will guide you, He will make you to be a great person in this life because your Father is a great God. Let me call you to this one. Jesus fed how many? 5,000 men. Besides what? Women and the children. Five what? If you go to Matthew 14, that's where you can find this statement. Now let me uh, call you to this one. There's something I want you to, uh, you know, uh, uh, to get out of this message. When Jesus looks up and he saw a great crowd coming towards him, he said to Philip, where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? I hope you are there. Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? This is the answer from the, the disciple in verse 6. He asked this only to test him. For he had already... He had already in mind that, I mean, what is going to do, sorry? I'm jumping. Let me repeat this one. He asked this only to test him. For he already had in mind what is going to do. This is the point I want, you know, to incite in your heart. Jesus was asking this question deliberately to test these people if they know him. Now, I, I made a mistake here. Let me give you the answer from a The one I, 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 I'm telling you is not from him. This one. 
Listen to him before I combine the, 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 the three scriptures. In verse 7, Philip answered him, it will take more than a half year's wage to buy enough bread for each one of these people to eat. It will take what? Umuaka, ndande vati umuaka nangu, imi eshi six. Paku kwa nishi enda lama shakushitila ababantu, imi kati ya kutiba shiteshani. But yeah. Now, Jesus asked his people this question deliberately. He knew where to get the food for the 5,000 people besides women and children. Listen to this again. <clears throat> this is verse 8. I mean 8. Another of the disciples, Andrew, Simeon Peter, brother, I mean, Simon Peter, brother, spoke up. Here is a, a boy with five loaves of bread and two fish. If you go to the Matthew, it's, the statement is not like this. There you just find that they had five loaves of bread and two fish. But here the Bible says that here is the boy with five loaves of bread and two fish. Listen to these people of God. The Bible says that Jesus in his mind, he knew what he's going to do concerning the crowd. But he posed a question to his disciples. He was, you know, in a situation whereby you are, you are moving with people who doesn't know who you are, what you can do, what you are capable of doing, but they are following you. In his own mind, he knew that I will feed these people through my father's power. According to the disciples, not pamaka are you getting me at the back there? Mm -hmm. Let me go back again to this one. Because for me, the way I feel about this message, I don't know. Jesus said, have the people sit down. Have what? The people sit down. Because disciples requested for, to, I mean, Jesus to let these people go. So that they can go and look for food somewhere. But after, you know, he realized that these people, they don't know me. They don't know what I can do. Let me show them that I am here with power beyond the situation. He said, tell the people to sit down. I don't know. This message who brought your mind. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you will see the power in your life that can make you to realize that God is greater than my problem. He said, let the people sit what? Down. Let me read this one properly. I don't know. Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grasses in that place. And they sat down. About 5,000 men we are there. Verse 11. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distribute. Come on, people of God. Five loaves of bread, two fish. Here is 5,000 people. Besides women and children. He said, tell the people to sit down on the grass. He just took the basket and said, Father, thank you. I know that you hear me. And God multiplied what? Imikate idia. Abula nesa binadie na mtuwa tela lesa. Isa binibiridia sangu kamakana. What are you learning? Out of this message. If you mupima imwe, palu wenu ngo mtu, kulingana, gefi yo mtonto nkanyone fi yo mwishiba, lesa tefi ya ishiba. Lesa naka no no kuti haka panga chabe chikulu. One thousand kwacha kuti ya bama milioni nga mwaingisha mudinesa. Mind ya kwa Jesus ta ya ishiba po feria pari life yenu. Mind ya kwa satana ya ishiba tiwa eferia. I'm talking to you now. Because the Bible says that in his mind he knew 
What is going to do? Simply means Jesus knows something beyond your thinking about your life. Mind ya kwa satana ya ishwati wa ebare ni umani. Mind ya kwa Jesus ya ishwati uri mufiashi. Satana ubo ngobu wa kwe wa ishwati uri muluele. Le satana ishwa kwa ati mulibaluele. Ishibe nga mule umfua. Ninja nde ipifia. And I will leave this message for next Sunday because I'm, I'm, I'm learning. It's like in devil to get I'm lashing. Next Sunday, I want to talk more. In his mind, Jesus knew where to get food for his people. The mind of disciples were blank. Looking at the number of people, 5,000, how many are we here? We are not even uh, uh, 3,000. Or 2,000. Maybe 1,000 plus, close to 2,000. Now think about one, I mean, 5,000. Besides, 5,000. Which means But Jesus provided for this number But yeah, It is something I want to pick again Please bear with me Listen to verse 12 When they had all had enough to eat He said to his disciples Gather the pieces that are left over Nothing be wasted Life yenu fulele kwa tama leftovers mwe wana wakualesa. Kufile kule mefile plako. Noti mwadi ya mwashala na nsala mwambo kutonzana. Nishile za taba po. Nga mwambo kuikala na yesu. Yon sefyo mule chita. Pafile pale shala ma leftovers. Vadi ya vai kuta. Pashala na fumwe vele kolonga ni keni. Mwe wana ulapo na ngukamo. 12 baskets. Imi kate 5. Isa bidi bidi. Bari ya bantu wai kutakuwa. Dilabalonga ni kafionse pamo. Kwa ishire shala ma basket ya lianga. 12. Nishi ndela ndapo. Number one. Two things I want you to call in your mind. Not the mind of Jesus about your life. Number two. Allow him. To guide your life. Don't trust your mind. Don't trust your capacity. Don't trust your thinking. Don't trust your salary. Don't trust your capital. Jesus can multiply your capital to billions. Umuwa na umo le sangami. Nge wa ambo kumipe robu fiashi. Umuwa na umo. Umu ntu umo. Aba di babi luti mwafuma aba na 15. Tama mana konga mwa chelo kufia lwadi molesa Ngalanda fatika nkuta abuishe Number one wa mpundu Number two wa mpundu Number three wa mpundu Number four wa mpundu Wala konga nyapo People of God Let me leave this message like this Life ya nifilele kwa tama leftovers Nga mulenda na nani Apandela ndano mtu wa kwe bati, eka la eke fintu fiari mshupa, na vana wa kwe, elo nomba Jesus aisopo ekele, after pisho kukufunda, elo nomba wamo kumwe bati, mwe Yesu, ne ya kusonkele nga ndata tukwete, ne fiyakuri ya tukwete, na vana kusukulute tibaye, elo Yesu wakipisha tukwete shinga, chinkwete fea kustobu nga, na vana wukoso mutengo, evele leta kuno, Tatana kutotela. Mm. Kabie kashite. Ulole shemu minwe. Minta pendwa. Emu ine walu pia imuenga tamuwa ishiwa. Problem mwa kwa ta. Mufisa kuri lesa. Mufisa kuri Mufisa kuri lesa. No. Jesus ngaisa panga ndapamien. When you see him in your house. Tell him the truth. That is the, the line I want to draw. Forget about these 5,000. 
I want to introduce his presence to your family, to your business, to your marriage, to your career. When you see him, Jesus, know for sure that the increase has come in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you the truth. Why are you doubting Jesus? Take this point. He asked this only to test him. For he already had in mind what he was going to do. It's more like Jesus. I push you Finish your phone. Quit it. Jesus, now you are to you. Ready at the fork station. Ukupola. Ngafika pamia nupanga and then solution ya station. Remain in the presence of God. You are not a failure. Stop trusting yourself and trusting your capital. Hmm? We are going to offer this player at the end of our meeting. And you see the power that multiplied the fish and the blade will multiply your life and your capital. <laughs> that is the reason and the purpose of this message. Mind the aqua Jesus yadi shiva. If you're in game, business yenu kia pisa. Pamolo. Mind yenu. Ipende fili muisa. You are like Philip. Ati awawa ntupaku valisha. Chimono kweba ati. Ama benefiti. Ayo muntu enga bombela. Mumi ya shisix. Enga kwa nino kushite fi yakuli ya fi ababa ntu. Ushe Jesus ya apepele mumi ya shisix. Tema seconds. Ah. Please, stop trusting your salary and your money. Trust Jesus. The way maker, the provider, the unquestionable man who is able to do what no one can do in your life. He just prayed a simple prayer. He never fasted or said, Father, Father, more pride is, more pride is. He said, Father, thank you. Mm. Tell the people to sit down. Mm? Stand up first. Let me... I declare this prophetic word to you. Stand up. We are in the spirit, if you don't know. You may see me standing here talking to you. We are in the spirit. Jesus said, tell the people to sit what? Down. To do what? So that you get your own share. Do you believe in his word? Do you believe in his word? It's like Jesus is talking to me to say, tell my children to sit down so that I can what? Multiply their life. It's here. Let me read this one. Verse 10. Jesus said, have the people sit down. And the Bible says that uh, there was plenty what? Of grass in that place. And they sat down. About 5,000 men were there. In the name of Jesus. As it is written here. Even in the land. When I reach the word sit down. You sit on your chair. It's a prophetic declaration. Even those who are watching. There are so many people who are watching us. In France. Um, Iceland. Uh, Botswana. Malawi, South Africa. Please, connect yourself to this message. In the name of Jesus. This is verse 10. Jesus said, have the people sit what? Mm, go down now. This, this word, this word will surprise your life. You are sitting, let me say, what is due for you? Are you there? You are sitting in a place where Jesus can see you and give what is due for you. Mm, have it now. Let me see your right hand. Get it. Get it. Enough. 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 Get it. Enough. Get it. It's enough now. Stop borrowing. Get it. Stop thinking about money. Get it. Enough. 
Mm, get it. Enough. Get it. Get it. It's your own. You are in a position where Jesus can see you. Have your money. Have your marriage. Have your blessings. Get it. Get it. Get it. I say get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. It's a prophetic word. Even in your house, in your business, please don't forget that you come back to testify. Because this is the word of God. It's not my word. He said, tell them to sit where? Down. Let me sit here so that I can get my own. Get your own. I have 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 my own. In Jesus' name. That is the... Look. That is the purpose of the name Jesus. The name Jesus is the key to unlock your destiny. It's the key to unlock everything that has been locked up. Don't joke with this name. Me, I don't joke with the name Jesus. He has made me to be who I am. You are a great woman. You are a great man. Where is your money now? Where is your business? Where is your wealth? Where is your children? When Jesus appeared to you, he knew what you were thinking about your life. But in his own mind, he knows where to get whatever you are looking for. This is what we, are, we have shared now. Hmm? Are you satisfied? Thank you. God bless you.